Virgo. Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Virgo placement. If you're new to my channel, hello. I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning and trusting me with your energy. I greatly appreciate it. The first message we have is you stood out from everyone else. And I just got, and you still do. So your person wants you to know that from the moment that they met you, they knew that you were very, very important to their journey in some kind of way. Um, and this was something energetically. It's almost as if their heart, you know, alerted them or they're so alerted them that, hey, this, this person is going to be extremely special to you um, in some kind of way here. I'm getting that some of you may have started off um, maybe in a friendship, maybe in something casual here. It wasn't that serious, but there was just something about you that continuously pulled your person back into your energy here. Um, they think that you are extremely magnetic here. And this is something that's beneath the surface. I'm getting that they're extremely attracted to you here. So, of course, initially we are um, attracted to the exterior. So, of course, they thought you were beautiful, you know, and all of that. But it's, it's almost as if there was something, some type of underlying energy that they couldn't really put their finger on. But it, it's like they kept coming back to you. Okay, they kept being drawn into your energy. They kept wanting to be around you. They just couldn't get enough of your essence. They couldn't get enough of your presence here. Um, and your person wants you to know that you stood out from everyone else from day one and you still stand out from everyone else. No one else compares to you. Okay, it's almost as if you put they put you up on a pedestal. They hold you above like every connection that they've had in their life. Wow. Okay. Wow, we have you are so dangerous. Okay, so your person wants you to know that they think that you're dangerous because I feel that you have this ability or you bring out another side of them. I'm almost getting, um, I just got surrender. So I feel that you have the ability to make them surrender. I feel that nobody else can, like the connection that you have with your person, it sits above every other connection that they've ever had. Okay, um, you get a version of them that no one else gets. And they feel like you're dangerous because maybe you're not even aware of this. Maybe you think, look, I'm just being myself. And your person is like, this girl is driving me insane. Um, I'm feeling all of these emotions. I'm acting out of the ordinary. I'm, you know, opening up my heart. I'm being expressive. I'm doing all of these things that I thought I never would do. And this person is the culprit. And you're just, you know, innocent. You're just looking like, oh, I'm just being me. I'm just like, you effortlessly have this ability to extract this, like, your person's highest version, your person's authentic, raw heart. And they may look at you as dangerous because I feel as though it's almost as if you are so, it's like you're just innocent in this. You don't even realize how much um, power you have over your person. That, that's the word I'm looking for, power. Um, you have so much power over your person and you don't even realize it. And they just, it's almost as if I just got an image of a divine masculine just like sitting back and shaking their head like, this girl is dangerous. Let's get the next message here. Wow. You're so powerful. <laughs> Look, you're per exactly, your person thinks that you are extremely powerful, okay? Spiritually, okay? Intellectually, there's just so much about you that I feel like you're you're used to because you're just like this is me I'm just being myself here but your person looks at you in amazement because you effortlessly have the ability to just go into a room and just 
be the center of attention of it or people just are naturally drawn to you or you just have a way where you're naturally nurturing and healing and people just feel really open towards you. I'm getting that it's not even just your masculine. I feel like your masculine sits, sits back and watch you. Um, or maybe you shared certain stories with them or maybe you're actually, you were at a, a time when you were close together and they see how other people react to you and they're just like, wow, um, this feminine is on fire. Like, she is amazing. You know, people love her. People respect her. People respect her opinion here. Um, you are a powerhouse to your masculine. And they, they want you to know that. They really, really are amazed by you. Let's get the next message here. We have, you can read my mind and my heart. You know what? It's almost as if this reading your masculine is like letting you know all the things that they love about you or why you stand out to them or why you know they just cannot seem to get over you you know it's almost as if look you stand out from everybody look you're dangerous you're powerful you can read me it's like they're they're listing out all the reasons why it's you <laughs> it's you and it's no one else and it can never be anyone else but you can read their mind and their heart here. Um, I just heard that, yeah, there's there's a level of surrender when it comes to you here. I'm getting that it's almost as if their body shuts down. It's almost as if their ego shuts down and their heart takes the center stage and begins to speak. You know, and, and, and they, they can't control that. That's why they feel that you're dangerous. They have no control when it comes to you. And we know the masculine energy operates in control. You know, they operate in systems and technicalities and control and, you know, all these other things. And when it comes to you, it's like all of that kind of fades away and they have to tap into that, their soft, their feminine side and be expressive. And so they think that you are dangerous in that nature. Let's get the next message here. We have, your energy is magnetic. Yeah. They are always feeling as if they're being guided towards your direction. It doesn't matter. No matter how far you pull apart from each other, they're always somehow drawn back into you. Because you, you're, you are the embodiment of the feminine version of them. You guys both see the world in the same way. You view the world through the same lens. So you get them. You know, you really, really get them. I just got friend as well. It's like beyond loving you, like your person likes you. And that's very, very important. I feel like that's like the number one thing that they want you to know here is like, I actually like you. Do you know how many people are in connections or relationships with people they love? And love is an action word. So people are, love, they're in love and they're loyal to people, but do they actually like them? That's the question. Your person likes you. They like your energy. They like being around you. They like your opinion. They want to hear your thoughts about certain things here. Everything about you is magnetic. They're instantly drawn to you when something ha when something happens in their world, when they experience new things, when they want to run an idea past somebody, they think about you. It's your energy that's constantly pulling on them throughout the day here. That is so beautiful. It's like your person loves you, but they want you to know, like, I like you. I think you're awesome. I think you're amazing, like, aside from everything else. That's so beautiful. The last message we have here is wow i can't open up to anyone else yeah i feel like you just have this <laughs> it's almost as if you have this superpower to your person like your person thinks that you're extremely powerful in the sense that you see them like you really really see them for who they are you give them the space. You hold space for them to actually be themselves. You see the world the same way that they see the world. Um, and your person can't be this version with anyone else. 
So it's almost as if they want you to know, like, it's us. Like, it's us against the world here. Um, it's like you still stand out from everyone else. So I feel that, of course, they meet different people throughout their day-to-day -day life. But there's this bond that you have is absolutely unbreakable. There will never be anyone else who touches their heart the way that you touch their heart. There will never be anyone else who is able to extract this level of intimacy from their heart space ever. And they want you to know that beyond the fact of their love for you, they actually like you. And that is extremely important here. I feel like that's the number one thing that's standing out and that's putting you above every other connection that they've ever had here. And that is, that's so, that's amazing. So that's the message that I have for today. If you resonated with that message, be sure to like the video on the way out. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.